Hey guys! So I am in my pajamas this week because I am talking about reading and just kind of my lifelong love affair with books and reading and the ups and downs because reading and I have been through a lot. I've even broke up with reading before, but we're back together now. Um, so this week I'm going back to the beginning and that would be bedtime stories. So I'm in my pajamas and we're going to go back to talk about where my love of reading started. So I remember, you know, my first impressions of reading would be, I, I must have been about one and a half or around that age. And adults would read me bedtime stories. My grandparents and my mom, you know, before bed, they would get and sit in the bed next to me and read me a bedtime story. And I remember he, they would, um, the words with the, with the finger, you know, under the word uh, as they would read it. And this is before I could speak. So, you know, concepts are kind of hard to explain because of that. But I remember kind of thinking or wondering or having a feeling that the words like when the adults would touch it was it was making them say the word as they touched it which I don't know it was just I didn't understand how books and reading worked back then I was like a toddler um and I thought oh my gosh this is so magical this books are magical <laughs> like I really was obsessed because it was just this magical thing that happened when the adults read a book and they, any, I don't know. I understood it eventually, um, but I was just really, I needed to, I don't know, I loved books. I loved it. And I loved words. And I thought that, you know, these words were like the key to how adults spoke. So somehow it's like, if I could learn the words, I could do that too. And adults were speaking, you know. Um, so I started to take it upon myself to want to decode written, like typed, it was really typed, typed words. Um, and I not, I must have been, I, was, I wasn't quite two because I, I know my mom, I confirmed this with her. Uh, she said, you know, when she, I, I surprised the adults because we were driving on a car trip and I was like reading out street signs and she says, I wasn't quite two yet, which is a great parlor trick for adults. They think this is just cute. And, you know, the adults that didn't know uh, me thought that, you know, this was all coached by my parents or you know, it wasn't. It was me like teaching myself to read. But at the same time, I didn't just teach myself to read. You know, I that never would have happened. I never would have been interested in reading. I never would have uh, fallen in love with books if it hadn't been for those adults who took the time to read to me every night before bed. And so I'm going to always be so grateful that I had that life experience and that, you know, the people who loved me and cared about me took the time, you know, to read to me. And it really makes me sad because I know a lot of parents won't take the time to sit and read stories to their children. And what's really amazing to me, you know, thinking back is the adults in my life were reading to me before I could even speak. So for all they knew, I wasn't understanding anything in the storybooks, you know, but they still were reading to me anyway. And I remember being able to understand. I remember not being able to speak yet. And then I remember speaking and reading, and I feel like all of that happened kind of right around the same time. So maybe, you know, reading helped me with speaking. And, oh, goodness, if you ask my family, you know, once I started speaking, I never shut up. Um, when I'm relaxed and around my friends, goodness. <laughs> yeah, my friends know. Uh, I've got a mouth. But, you know, I, I don't think that's a problem. Most of the time. <laughs> I just got totally off track there. So anyway, I just I just wanted to point that out because I think it's really important for parents to just take that time because I know if I didn't know how to read and I didn't know how to write and all of those things that came together from those moments where adults were reading to me, 
my life would be much more difficult. And so, you know, those skills are just great tools that you can give to your children. And if you, you don't take the time to read to them and at least give them a chance to like books, like not everybody's gonna like books or reading, that's fine. But you know, at least give them the chance, the opportunity, uh, you're taking away a lot of different opportunities from them. And I wanted to point that out. So anyway, guys, let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do put out new videos every week. I will talk to you next week. Bye guys.